All right, for number four, fourth degree polynomial, leading coefficient is positive. So I'm getting an impression it's going up, it's going up, it's in the middle I'm worried about, all right? So kind of looking at it, you know, put the x, y axis down like this. I'm not committing to any numbers in particular, but the y-intercept is positive. I know that much. And what I'm going to do is use the Descartes rule of signs now. f of x, x4, minus 7x squared, plus x, plus 4, plus, minus, plus, plus. One change, one change, s is 2. So what could p be? p could be 0, or p could be 2. All right? So let's take a look at the signs. All right, I'm just going to look at integer numbers. So like, you know, like the number 1, the number 2, the number 3, you get the idea. I'm going to try to figure out what happens. You know, is it up and down, up and down? So the way I do that, I'm going to plug it in. And this is the function. Again, at, at 0, it's positive. We knew about that. That's probably pretty easy, right? At 1, it's going to be negative. This is 1. At 2, it's negative. And at 3, it shoots off. It's way over. It's positive up here, but it's way up there. So I, I know I got an impression over here. It's just shooting straight up at that point. So what do I have over here? I definitely get a root between 0 and 1. And then over here, I not necessarily know what the connection is, but it, over here. So I'm going to say I have a root between 0 and 1, and I have a root between 2 and 3. All right, let me show you where this is. Right here, right here. Now, what did we say, if you recall? I said there was either none or two. I found two. I got that part covered. Now, what are we going to do? Well, I'm still going to use Descartes rule of signs. Let me start to erase stuff over here. I'm done with this analysis. And I can put f of minus x down. And what would that give me? x4 minus 7x squared minus x plus 4. Let's put the signs down, plus, minus, minus, plus. There's a change there, and there's a change there. All right? So how many changes are there? There's two changes. So what do we have? Well, the p could be 2, because 2 minus 2 is 0. Or the p could be 0. All right? So what do I do? I'm going to look for it, see what happens. Who knows? Right? So let me get my analysis erased from the prior one. I'm going to go through it. And then we'll look at the picture later. During Wells' time, pictures were very hard to draw. As you can see how tedious this is. So at 0, it's positive. At minus 1, what is it? It's negative. Now, by the way, I hope you realize this thing, something like this over here. Here's the deal, though. I know it's a fourth degree polynomial. It's got to go back up at some point. So if I go to, you know, minus 2, it's even more negative. But I don't really care about that point. So then if I go to minus 3... That's where things start taking off in the other direction. It's up here. All right, so now I found the two roots. And again, I was expecting, I remind you, either to find nothing or two. I found two. And the roots are going to be as follows. That's a minus three. One of the roots is going to be between minus one and zero. And the other root is going to be between minus three and minus two. Let me highlight that for you. It's right there and right there. Let's look at the picture between minus 3 and minus 2, I got that. Between minus 1 and 0, I got that. Between 0 and 1, we got that. And the other one is between 2 and 3, we got that. And a general shape of the curve as well. Again, if you need to reach out to me, my name is Ron Bannon. Email address, Bannon, B as in boy, the at symbol, N-N-O-N dot U-S. By the way, I believe I'm pretty careful with my answer keys. However, if you think I made a mistake somewhere, in the answer key or anywhere in the document, please do reach out to me. Let me know that. And I'll take a more careful look at it.
all right? It's kind of hard to read um, through a 2,500-page document, but I'm sure there'll be enough readers over time where they'll be able to identify errors, and they'd be willing to share their insight into improving the document. Thank you.